Okay, welcome to part five, I think, or oh, whatever. Yes, game number one hundred and one. Surprising, I'm going to to any repeat yet. There's a lot, lot, and this one is just fairly weird, as you will see in a bit. Lot, lot. This one I have played before, and it is a bit weird. As I, like I said, ready. What's funny is that the colours actually look a bit better on the Famiclone, which is uh, something that doesn't usually happen. Well, they keep changing randomly, I don't understand why. But yeah, basically, what you have to do in this game is you have to guide these balls uh, down to the bits of the bottom weight, so it's like 10 points, 30 points, and 50 points. Um, and the goal is to try and get as many points as you can, and you have to get a certain amount to win, and uh, move on to the next level. So I think on this one you need 20,000. Oh, and um, if any of the balls land in the out, then you lose just to point that out. Oh no, it's not a great game but I strangely enjoy it to a point, I'm not sure why. It sounds a bit weird and it probably is. Uh, yes, eventually, yeah, these gates, um, if they have like a black square in them then they're open gates or something. It's a bit weird. And this can sort of pass through to wherever the next room is. Get 20,000 points and you'll move on to the next level where you have to get more points, I think. And yeah, I've seen, I think you've seen enough of this game. Game number 102 is actually one of the weirdest games on this multi-cart, Fish War. Now, I was expecting this one to be um, the nice code game, which was, I think it was called uh, Shark on the Dream Gear 75 and 1. But it is not that, it is actually uh, this game. Made by BBG, who I've I've seen their name in a few other games, but yeah, this one, as you can probably tell already, is a hack of balloon fight, and it's a surprisingly extensive one. I mean, the graphics have been changed completely, music has been changed completely, so it's just this one track that plays through the whole game, except on demo mode for some reason, um, and it does play for the whole game. I got to the bonus stage, um, and that's pretty much the extent of it. Uh, there's no balloon trip mode, sadly, although, granted, I have balloon fight on several other multi-cards, so it's not a big loss. And, uh, yeah, the sound effects are gone for some odd reason. Well, I'll say for some odd reason, it's obviously to make the game look more original, but still. And I'm pretty sure those spiders eventually spit out stuff at you. Well, I call them spiders, I'm guessing they're supposed to be squids or something, but they look like spiders. Um, so yeah, it's a weird hack of balloon fight, essentially. Let's move on to another look uh, to game number 103. A bloody chicken and sea to play some bum jack on this hundred and. Okay, and it froze. Why did it freeze? Please don't tell me it's going to freeze again like it did before. If it is, I'm going to be very happy. But yeah, bomb jack or mighty bomb jack as it's called on here. Of course, there was no original bomb jack on the NES, so yeah. <laughs> uh, of course there was one with Game Boy, but this is not the Game Boy as you might have noticed. And yes, this is a platformer based off the original Bomb Jack. I guess they were trying to sort of make it like the next Super Mario or something like that, and didn't really succeed. It's not a bad game in my opinion, I personally consider it to be one of the better early... Uh, yeah, and we have to uh, re-record this at some point, but yeah, this is a pretty good game in my opinion. See you later when I have to re-record all of this and re-record the rest of it or something. Yes. Yeah, uh, from this point on I'm just going to cover the games that don't have another Maltese just to uh, save some pain in recording this thing. And yes, let's play... So it's the first one in this spot. Well, Bomb Jack, although I kind of played that already. Spelunker, did I have that? No, you have multi cards, I can't remember to be honest. I just play it anyway because it's actually pretty decent. Yes, uh, it does have the copyrights, this one, in case you're wondering. Oh, whoops. Did not mean to do that. And it's basically a platformer and a pretty good one at that. Uh, you basically have to use stuff in the right places, shoot ghosts drop bombs where there's rocks so you can pass through them and such and yes 
Pretty good game, probably one of the better ones on the small cot. And boom! Oh, I died. <laughs> next game. Now, what game should I play next? If I kind of get to it. Uh, Driver Dying New, Magnex New, B Wing New, Pro Wrestling. Uh, did I have that in any of the Mortal Cards? Can't remember. But let's start anyway. For the glitchy intro! Uh, it's basically a bad wrestling game. <laughs> I don't care anyway, this is not a very good game. The one good thing about it is that you have the strong birds. So from that, not a very good game. Now I'm going to get stuck in backwards from this point. Uh, nothing there of interest. Arkanoid. Ah, Sasa. This one I should play. So I don't recall playing this one before. Well, you know, I did play half of it once where it was renamed Toto, but uh, that's not this game. So let's start. So, yes, in this game you have to collect the letter E, which, uh, yes. Oh, great. Stupid Bamaclone. <laughs> I wonder if I'll fix it. If it does, I'll be very happy. Sonson, one can't give you a soc Ah, soccer. Did I play this one before? Screw it, you're not what soccer is. Cheelinger? Ah, Blobbuster, this one's kind of interesting. It's a uh, hack of Dig Dug 2, which as you might have noticed is also on this thing, which is kind of pointless. Yes, Blobbuster by some ROM hacking people. And yep, it's a. Uh, Excuse me for a second while well, we bash this family comes to oblivion. There we go, that should fix it. <laughs> if somebody doesn't work, bash it repeatedly until it starts working properly. Hopefully. A little right hood. Let's hope this crashes because this game is terrible. As you will see in a second. <laughs> Yes, this one I haven't really played up until this point. And quite frankly, I kind of wish it stayed that way, because this game is one of the worst games ever made, quite frankly. As I'm sure a lot of you out there would agree. Um, basically, you have to kick trees, collect cherries, um, and go down randomly appearing staircases, which have a randomly appearing key. And the key is now up here this time around. And there's a flashing crone. I'm, why is it flashing? I don't know. But it doesn't matter the game sucks. Um, yeah. One of the worst games ever made. End of story. Card captors, apparently based off the anime. Uh, by whoever that is. Card captors Akura. Yes. And it is a. Uh, it is obviously a hack of Terry Draga, which I did cover in the previous video. But it has security in it, apparently. It's not much like her, from what I remember. I mean, granted, I haven't played the anime, well, I haven't watched the anime in years, should I say. I did watch it um, back on ITV. Although, of course, they ended up cancelling the show, because, uh, according to all my mates, one of the episodes had sex scene in it. And obviously, uh, <laughs> ITV would have got complaints of arse if they showed it. But yeah, uh, it's. yeah. Let's uh, continue. I love this, by the way. Dong Ki Kong. Clearly, uh, these spell checkers weren't paying attention. And. Yeah, not much of interest here. Ninja Gaider is just uh, Ninja Kun, in case you're wondering. And, uh, yeah. There is one interesting game, though Orchard Canvas! Yes, you may wonder what the hell this one is. It's Orchard Canvas, well, of course. Welcome to the game. Presents to start. Wait, what? It's <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. But yes, as you will see in a second, this one is weird. It is a hack. No, it's not a hack. It's um, it's like some weird game by uh, Nice Code who developed those games on the Dream Gear. Uh, this one, I believe, is a complete rip-off of Buzz Bombers. 
which was basically uh, a game where you was a kind of spray painting you had to attack floors or something. This is pretty much the same thing really, um, with different graphics and some random music. Yes, um, not much more I can say aside from that. I mean, yeah, better graphics aside from that. Aside from that, he deserves that. And on that note, I will see you later, people, while I throw this Famiclone in the dumpster, or the bin, or whatever as Brits call it, and I might embark on a quest to buy another one, hopefully one that's more reliable.